Hi everyone, my name is Augusta and I'm a member of the Data Schools 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a formula tool in Alteryx. Before we start, please note that all links to materials relevant to this video, including data sources, are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin by inputting our data set onto Alteryx. And click OK. Let's quickly observe what we have in our data set. We have customer ID, city, visits, spend, and latitude as well. To find formula tool, there are three ways to do so. First of all, it can be in your favorite section. So our favorites are here. And as you can see, I have formula tool over here. The formula tool can also be found in a preparation section over here. So just click on it and our formula tool is just here. Alternatively, you can also search for it in the search bar at the top. And there you have it. So let's drag this onto our workflow and let's configure it as we wish. Add new column and let's name it static column. And our expression is just going to be a simple hello. And let's run this workflow. As you can see, we have a new column named static column and all the values are the same. Of course, this is the simplest way of using the formula tool. So let's try something more complicated. Let's bring another formula tool and connect it to our input. Let's create a new column, which would state that if our city is Aurora, we would have visit. And then if it's something else, we would have no visit. So let's name our new column visit, no visit, and let's type in the expression. If city equals speech marks, Aurora speech mark closes, then visit, else no visit, and if. And let's run this workflow. Let's click on the output and now we can see that where we don't have Aurora as our city, so for example here we have no visit and where we have Aurora we have visit. Make sure you note that formula tool is case insensitive so we have different cases over here and over here however it still produced the same result visit. Let's drag another tool and let's try a different formula. So connect it to our input and let's create a new column and we're going to name this title case city. And what I want to do is to make sure that we have only first letters as capital and everything else is lower cases. So we're going to use a formula title case and we're going to write city within the brackets. And let's run this workflow. Let's look at the output. And there we have it. Title case city as a new column. Another thing we can do is we can actually replace our current column instead of creating a new one. So for this, we would first need to connect to our input. And then instead of adding a new column, we would select which one we would want to replace. And let's type in again the same formula. And let's see what happens. In this case, we do not have any new columns. However, our city column has been altered based on our expression. So another thing that you can do is you can actually have multiple formulas within one tool. So this is very simple. You just open the configuration of your tool, go back to the left hand side, click on plus sign, and then you have a second window of a new formula. And then you can do it as many formulas as you want. So for instance, let's add a new column. Let's uh, name it hello. And let's just create another static column. So we'll delete the third one and let's run the workflow to see what we have. So in this case, our formula tool has changed both the city column and also we have 
another column added to the data set. Finally, it is important to note that you can use multiple columns to write expressions. So for instance, let's add a new column and name it average spend per visit. And let's type in the expression. We are interested in spend per visit. However, we are interested in the average of it. So let's put brackets around it. And let's put average like this. We can delete these brackets. And let's see what we have now. Let's run the workflow. Let's look at the output. And there you have it. You have average spend per visit. Now we can also do, you can improve this expression even further and just round the number. So we are going to round this whole expression here to one decimal place like this. And let's run this workflow again. And there you have it. I hope you now feel more confident in using Formula Tool in Alteryx. If you enjoyed this video, I think you would also find these other videos by my colleagues useful. Thanks for watching.